Hello, everyone. Welcome to Golden Heart Tarot. My name is Ren. I hope you all are safe and happy. Today, we are asking how do men view you? We have two groups. Group one is the World Cosmos, the World Card, and the Wizard's Tarot. Group two is the Fool and the Dreamkeeper's Tarot. I'll be doing one big shuffle at the beginning, but if you want to jump straight into your reading, those timestamps are in the description box. I'll see you at your group. Hello, Group 1. If you chose the World Card and the Wizard's Tarot, this will be a reading. We're asking, how do men view you? We're also going to get into how the specific man on your mind, how he views you. All right, let me get your cards laid out, and then we'll get into your reading. We have the Queen of Wands on the back of the deck. 40, the Dead End. 9, the Hunter. The Orator, Communication, Confidence. The Magician, the Wheel of Fortune, Five of Swords, the Three of Cups, King of Swords, the Emperor, Ten of Pentacles, the Sun, and the Seven of Pentacles. All right, Group 1, so men view you as someone that is very intelligent, someone that is mature and reasonable. I think you can be a bit intimidating sometimes. There's a lot of intelligence behind your eyes. They also view you as someone that won't say everything that you know. You'll wait until the proper time. They view you as someone that is well-read and has a lot of knowledge. Men also view you as someone that has a very nice voice. They find you to be eloquent, articulate. With the orator card, you may be an actor or actress. You may do public speaking. Or may have some sort of public presence, especially with the world card and the queen of wands. They view you as someone that is not afraid to speak in front of a large group of people. And you're someone that really shines in that space. Some of you may be singers. In any case, men view your voice as something that you're supposed to be using. 
For some of you, you may do better working off of a script than improv. Men also view you as someone with a high level of adaptability. When one door closes, another one opens, and you very much focus on your opportunities. Men view you as someone that has had doors closed in their face. Someone that's had to persevere, to find a workaround, to find a loophole, to think fast and go in a different direction. You're someone that makes things work for themselves. You may have had a big ending in your life and had to start over from scratch. They definitely view you as resilient. There's a balance here between your education and real world experience. You have both. Because of that, I believe that men view you as someone that they do not want to debate with or argue with. You'll definitely be able to talk around them and you will win. They view you as someone they can have interesting conversations with. You have a very nice sense of humor that they really enjoy. I feel that they really don't know what you'll come up with next and it keeps them on their toes and it's quite enjoyable. Men view you as someone that can really teach people some lessons sometimes. With the Wheel of Fortune Five of Swords, I'm getting that you're a bit like walking karma for people. It's kind of a vibe of fuck around and find out. <laughs> I don't think you get into that energy very often, but when you do, you take care of it. You defend yourself, you defend others, especially with that Emperor card there. When it comes to something serious, you're not one to mess with. I believe men view you as someone that demands respect. Physically, men view you as someone that looks really, really good. You are very attractive. You take care of yourself. You dress well. You smell nice. I'm getting you have a beautiful smile. I'm getting that you are very well put together, but there's also something very natural about your look. Maybe even a little bit wild. <laughs> so you might have your hair natural. It might be long. There's definitely something playful about your appearance. I don't know exactly what that is. It's like someone that wears a white shirt, but always has a food stain on it or something. <laughs> There's just something very cute about you physically that men really like. I'm also seeing like... Wearing a ball gown, but having on combat boots or being barefoot, you know? <laughs> There's just something a little bit different about you, I guess particularly in how you dress. Men view you as someone that can be slow to open up. Getting to know you is an investment in time and energy. Because you don't give your time or energy to just anyone. Men really have to invest in you. But once they do, they find you to be very fun, very interesting, and really such a joy to be around. You're someone that stays in their lives for a very long time. So overall, group one, men view you as very intelligent, someone that is someone that is very strong when it comes to their communication and how they go about expressing themselves. They also view you as someone that is very funny, very positive, and a real joy to be around. With you, it's never boring, and that is a great quality to have. So now let's get into how the specific gentleman on your mind views you. We have the Seven of Swords on the back of the deck. 37, the Desert. 3, the Starborn. The Dancer, Self-Expression, Strength. Knight of Wands, Ace of Cups, Knight of Cups, King of Cups, Three of Swords, Four of Swords, Queen of Swords, Two of Cups, and the Four of Cups. We have the Dancer card, Self-Expression and Strength, and that kind of goes along with the Orator, so you may do something creative with your time. It could be... Um, your profession or a hobby. You may act, dance, sing. You may be a triple threat. <laughs> but what I'm also getting from this is that they love how you express yourself. Like you're very unique. You stand out. This person may be into some of the same things that you are. 
So you may connect through your hobbies or your profession. You may work in the same field. I'm also getting that just like other men, they view you as someone that can dance through a conversation. You're very quick witted and it's very beautiful how you communicate, how you go about expressing yourself. I also have a lot of hands here, so um, it could be something that you use your hands to create. Whatever it is, they feel very connected to you through it, and they do watch you. They enjoy what it is that you do. With the desert and the starborn, I'm getting that you are someone that they feel that they were destined to meet, but they didn't expect you. The desert is very surprising. It has extreme ups and downs. They view you as someone that came in to change their life. For some of you, you may be in separation from this person. With all of the stars and the cracked egg in the Starborn, I'm getting that they view you as someone that has so much potential. And they could see you as breaking out of being stuck or held back. And that might be part of why the Three of Swords is in the center of this. They view you as having gone through some sort of hurt, some sort of emotional pain. With the Ace of Cups and Two of Cups on both sides, I am definitely getting heartbreak. It could be that you were held back from being with them, or you went through a breakup or something, some sort of heartbreak. This person views you as someone that follows their passions, whether that be creatively, with your interests and hobbies, or with your relationships. I just heard you drive fast, so that might be for some of you. <laughs> But because you're so passionate about things, this person views you as someone that can be a bit unpredictable. You may have a hot temper. You may be a bit of a rebel. They view you as someone that challenges people's belief systems. They may view you as someone that chooses their passions and interests over love. And with the desert background and the Knight of Wands and the desert card, it could be they view you as someone that chooses to be uncomfortable. You choose to push the boundaries. You choose the adventure. Choose your own adventure. I used to love those books. <laughs> they view you as someone that is very romantic, someone that is very charming, but also someone that may be taking a break from love. I'm seeing that you might have been burned, so that's definitely a possibility. It could be that you are slow letting people in now. I'm getting that physically they view you as someone that is theatrical in your dress even. And yes, I still am getting that little bit of wildness <laughs> about you in your appearance. I believe you are very attractive to this person, but a lot of it has to do with the way that you speak, the way that you think, just like with other men. There's definitely something about you that is just a little bit magical, a little bit fantastical. Maybe even a bit whimsical. I think this person... <laughs> this person likes your face, especially when you look at them like they're being stupid. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting that. <laughs> I'm looking at the owl in the Queen of Swords card. <laughs> like if you're being stern with them or you're just looking at them like, what are you even doing? Like... <laughs> That's what I'm getting. <laughs> they like it when you look at them that way. There's just a certain look that you give them or that you give other people that they they find attractive. They think it's cute. This person views you as someone that's denying what's in their heart. This could be denying the love you have for them. Or maybe it is that you just don't see them. You're not paying attention to them, even though they believe they're the best choice. With all of the cobwebs on the Four of Cups card, I'm getting this could be something that has been going on for quite some time. You could have been denying this person over and over again, choosing other options. They view you as being so disappointed in a previous situation that you aren't seeing what's right in front of you. They view you as hiding. It could be from them. It could also be the stuff that's holding you back from your potential. They view you as being very, very intelligent, very 
good with your communication, but maybe not using your skills in the way that they believe you could. I do believe they view you as holding back your communication from them. I'm getting that they view you as having so much potential, not only in your creativity, but also in love. They view you as a potential partner. They view you as someone that would be very good in a relationship, very loving, very caring, and someone they could love and care for as well. They view you as being a good partner, someone that would be perfect for them, and they would be perfect for you. They see all of this, and they see so much potential in your relationship. They just don't think that you see it. Or if you do, you're choosing other things besides them. So group one, that is how men view you. Thank you so very much for joining me. If you enjoyed this reading, please hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hello group two, if you chose the fool in the Dreamkeeper's Tarot, this will be your reading. We're asking how do men view you? We'll also get into how the specific man on your mind, how he views you as well. Let me get your cards laid out, and then we'll get into your reading. We had the Hanged Woman on the back of the deck, 15, the Shapeshifter, 19, the Animal, the Muse, Generosity, Naivety, Strength, King of Wands, Two of Cups, Justice, King of Swords, Four of Cups, the Chariot, Ace of Cups, and the High Priestess. All right, group two. So how men view you? It's interesting that both groups have a bit of theatrics about them. But whereas group one is more about their creativity, yours is more about how you inspire creativity in others. Men view you as someone that is very vibrant, attractive, alluring. There's a hedonistic nature to you. You bring out their desire, their passion, their lust. You are sensual and exciting. They view you as someone that would take them places they've never been before. A little dangerous, but oh, so worth it. They view you as someone they could run off with and indulge in food and drink and sex and... Let all of their worries, all of their responsibilities, leave that all behind. Men view you as a dream. But this is not a dream that you can contain or control. This dream cannot live behind a white picket fence. This is a dream that runs wild through the woods under the full moon. This dream is agony and bliss. So group two, I'm getting that you bring out some of the best and some of the worst in men. Men view you as persuasive and influential. They view you as someone they can't escape from. Not that they'd want to. You're definitely giving me siren energy. You lure them in, but they want to be there. They view you as the one in control. <laughs> I am getting that men just feel helpless around you. You may enjoy socializing, going out and drinking. You have a very strong and alluring personality. Okay, we get the point of that. Let me see if we can get some different energies here. Okay, well, men view you as someone that is very eloquent, someone that is very good with their words, especially in writing. There's an opposite side to you. You may work a corporate job. I'm hearing work hard, play hard. So <laughs> you may be extreme in just about every way. You may be very accomplished in your career. Men also view you as someone that is very fair. I am kind of getting someone that has a relationship with someone. And they go into it knowing that they're only going to have like three months together. They have a wonderful three months and then it's over. It ends and then that person moves on to the next. Someone that doesn't get tied down or attached. 
Because men view you as being very much in control. You are very clear, honest, and fair. And with the butterflies on the justice card, I'm getting that it could be like transformative types of ideas. Thinking outside the box. Men view you as not the norm. But it's not that you are just wild and have no idea about anything else. Men view you as someone that knows what they're doing. That chooses to be this way. You choose to be free and to follow your passions. But there's a time and place for everything, and you are a functioning member of society. I am being drawn to some of the snakes in your cards. I think men view you as someone that is very healing. You come in, you shake things up, and then you leave. And they are forever changed by you. With the Hierophant, it's definitely a balance between passion and reason. Men view these two sides to you. With the hangman, I'm getting that men view you as someone that you don't judge the different parts of yourself. You surrender to the light and the dark and the beauty and the madness. And you express it in a way that make men want to express it too. There is something so authentic and natural about you. So overall, men view you as someone that is bold, someone that enjoys life. Someone that accepts themselves, someone that follows their heart. They view you as someone that doesn't settle. And someone that is so focused on enjoyment and love and feeling and really experiencing life. All facets of their life. They view you as inspirational. You're definitely a muse. So now that we've gone over how men view you in general... Let's look and see how the specific gentleman on your mind views you. We have the Eight of Swords on the back of the deck. Ten, the Warrior. Eleven, the Queen. The Enchanter, Deception, Trickery. Nine of Wands. Four of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. The Emperor. Three of Wands. Queen of Cups, the Hierophant, the Tower, and the Queen of Swords. This person views you as not receiving the credit that you deserve. There is a lot more to you than what meets the eye. We have three of the queens in the spread here, and a fourth queen if you count the Oracle card. We also have two of the strongest Divine Masculine, the Emperor and the Hierophant. I believe you've been through cycles with this person. At some point, I believe you told this person about themselves. They were very much involved in the matrix, okay? Conforming to society, their tradition, their beliefs, very much insulated in that. I think you said something at some point to break that apart. And I believe you both broke apart because of it. Then you went through another cycle where they had their stability, but they were thinking more for themselves. And there's a possibility for a future together. You are in more of an emotionally giving energy at that point. But as time went on and things didn't move, you became more stable. More stable with your money, more stable with your work, more stable in your life. And as you've become more stable in your beliefs and the things that you want, and moving on with your life, the more that this person is feeling burdened by it. I believe this person thought that the one thing that they could really do was provide for you. And then you started providing for yourself. This person has been changing, but they haven't been changing as quickly as you have. The warrior card and the fool both have the same sort of energy. It's moving forward despite fear. This person views you as someone that knows where they're headed and is determined to get there. This person views you as someone that reinvents themselves. The core is always the same when it comes to you. Fearless, trusting, powerful. But then over the top of that, you'll express a different facet of your personality. So you can step into a Queen of Swords who is very independent, someone that has clear boundaries, very communicative, Somebody that cuts through the BS, you know, 
Or you can be a queen of cups, compassionate and caring, emotionally stable, intuitive, or a queen of pentacles, nurturing and practical and a provider, someone that is ride or die, someone that can be counted on. And this is why you are a muse, because you can express all those different parts of your personality depending on what it is that you're trying to do. And I believe that's also why we have the Enchanter card here. People put you in a box and think that that's who you are, and it's not true, and this person knows it. I believe they have experienced several of these facets of your personality. <laughs> This person views you as someone that is much stronger and much more complicated than people would like to think. I'm getting that you know how to bring people back to life. Possibly literally, but I'm getting it more figuratively. I think you may have brought this person back to life. This person views you as cautious. You like to know where you stand before you make any specific move. <laughs> I just heard, you like to know before you show. <laughs> Spirit, what the heck? <laughs> this person views you as someone that likes to feel people out um, before you actually give anything to it or let yourself be known in any way. You probably actually don't share a lot about yourself. You make it more about the other person. And before they know it, this person has told you their life story and they know nothing about you. This person views you as being exceptionally good at this. This person views you as a muse, just like other men do. They find you to be very beautiful. And it's in a very natural way. They find that you care a lot about the people around you, and you help them to grow. You bring out the best in people. This person views your actions to be very well thought out and done in the best interest of others. They think you take on a more supportive role than you're actually capable of. It's almost like you dim yourself down so other people can shine. Physically, this person finds you to be very changeable. There's certain qualities about you that make you unique when it comes to your physicality. They also view you as having changed quite a lot since they've known you. I think you may wear like just regular, normal, everyday clothes, but then there's something different about them. You may add things to your clothing or upcycle them. There's just something that stands out about the way that you look. It sets you apart from other people, in this person's eyes anyway. This person views you as following your heart. Use your intuition, your heart, your gut to make a lot of your decisions. This allows you to remain unbiased and gives you freedom from other people's expectations. This person views you as very independent. This person finds it attractive that you take calculated risks. They like that you are able to handle whatever life throws at you. They view you as someone that is very well balanced. They also find it very attractive that you let your heart guide you. I believe that is something very odd to this person. This person lets their head lead them and you let your heart lead you. It's two different ways to go about life and they find it very intriguing. Because of your focus on making others look good, this person believes that you could be so much more than you are. This person thinks you should have the limelight, not other people. And I also believe this person is in their head because there's something about your communication you may be a no contact or a very little contact, or you may butt heads from time to time. In any case, men view you as quite a force, group two. Well, thank you so very much for joining me. If you enjoyed this reading, please hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.